Our bonus story is called Mr. Greedy Comes Round for Lunch, written by the same artists. One sunny day, a strange noise woke everyone up. Rumble, rumble. What could it be? Might it be an earthquake? No, it was just Mr. Greedy's tummy rumbling. Gobble, gobble. Slurp, slurp. A loaf of bread, two sausages, a slice of cheese, and four boiled eggs. Just a little breakfast to keep me going, said Mr. Greedy, Finish up, finishing up the last few crumbs on the table. Never mind, I can have a big lunch to make up for it. Then he got into his car and drove to visit his friend Mr. Busy. Mr. Busy had been rushing round as usual. He just had time to make a quick snack, which he was very happy to share with Mr. Greedy. Gobble. Slurp. A loaf of bread, a whole ham, mashed potato and a boil of a bowl of boiled eggs. In a blink of a eye, Mr. Greedy had gobbled up all of Mr. Busy's food. Mr. Greedy is so greedy, said Mr. Busy. He's left nothing for me. But Mr. Greedy didn't hear because he had already gone to see his friend Miss Dotty. Do come in, said Miss Dotty. I've just cooked a chicken. Let's have an early lunch. Gobble, slurp, chicken, fish, eggs, cheese, apples and bananas. It was the best lunch Mr. Greedy had ever had. Mr. Greedy is so greedy, said Miss Dotty. He hasn't even left me a morsel of chicken. But Mr. Greedy didn't hear because he was already on his way to see little Miss Fickle. Do come in, said Miss Fickle. What perfect timing. I was just about to have lunch and I cooked up a feast. Chicken, mashed potato, fruit, cheese and cake. And lots of other tasty things. What a treat. Once again, Mr. Greedy made the most of delicious meal that his friend had cooked. The only, the only thing he left was one tiny new potato. Next, Mr. Greedy called on his friend Mr. Nonsense, who was just about to sit down for a light supper. A little sandwich will be enough for me, said Mr. Greedy, when Mr. Nonsense invited Mr. Greedy to join him. Gobble, slurp. Mr. Greedy ate an ice cream sandwich, a sausage salad, jam soup... A carrot milkshake and bananas and mustard. And when that was finished, he ate every last crumb in Mr. Nonsense's cupboards until there was nothing left in the house at all. The friends have had enough. They've met and decided that Mr. Greedy needed to be taught a lesson. I've got an idea, said Mr. Busy. Let's all meet at my house tomorrow for a completely different kind of lunch. Help yourself to some chips, Mr. Greedy, said Mr. Busy, the next day handling them an empty dish. Do eat, said Mr. Nonsense. Will you have a few more peas, suggested Miss Dotty. You must try this delicious jelly, said Miss Fickle. But all the plates were empty, completely empty, and yet everyone seemed to be having a wonderful meal. Mr. Greedy didn't know what to make it of at all. Was he dreaming? Was his hunger playing tricks on his mind? Confused, he pretended to eat, just like the others. At the end of the invisible meal, he thanked Mr. Busy for the delicious food and went back home. I do feel a little peckish, said Mr. Greedy, when he arrived home. He rushed into the kitchen and went straight to the biscuit tin. But there was no biscuits left. Just one little crumb. And that night, for the very first time, Mr. Greedy fell asleep with just one small crumb in his huge tummy. And for the first time in a very long time, Mr. his sleep was peaceful and full of happy dreams. About mountains of chocolate and rivers of custard. <laughs> very funny. Time for our facts. About woodpeckers. 